times where it brings in that uh, poi kilo hydri concept sort of thing so uh, yeah anyway i think that's about it as i say it's been a bit of a fun day coming across someone who <laughs> didn't even know who the big bopper was so um yeah anyway over and out and um i've actually got some deadly nightshade seedlings coming up there i think so it'd be good to transfer some of those and start my own deadly nightshades and uh, yeah i love the what i do like is that purple stem i mean yeah that's the same sort of purple you can get on um tomato leaves they're the seedling leaves so uh, yeah so um i love the purple stem maybe you've got to have the put maybe the trick is to have the purple sap Maybe that protects the plant from uh, diseases, so um, maybe that's why they don't want to back cross, back cross your tomatoes with your um, deadly nightshades. You might make them too too robust, too vigorous, and unkillable, indestructibles, you know? Bloody hell, I just got these, it's, it'd be like the magic beans, you know? Once you start growing them from these hybrid seeds, you know, it'd be like bloody triffids. You have to, you know, whip a slip them, get back, get back. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm pulling your leg, of course, you know. Can't bloody kill a tomato, so they <laughs> get back. I can't kill these things, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I always think, as I said before, I always think that the, um, they never do the, uh, yeah, oh, the things we set up before. They never do the day the Triffids film The Justice, because to me, it's the first 60 pages of the book that's the best bit, I would say. You know, it uh, all that um, Triffid plantation, oil farming and stuff like that, and all the shenanigans in his childhood, and you know, being sung as a child and all that sort of stuff. I mean, that's the guts of the thing. All the other stuff, all the um, all the social politics um, in in the latter half of the the book um, does nothing for me, basically. That's absolutely nothing. Yeah, Ag Aggies, Agapanthus, Adelaide, and some, one of the towns in New Zealand, they call us the, um, oh, fence post has come off, almost crushed it. Bugger. But it doesn't look like it's come off from there. That's a bit strange. I think someone's pulled that off or something, but because uh, it's not from that fence there. Okay. Anyway, so uh, yeah, they call us the Ag Ag Adelaide, the city of churches, the Agapanthus capital of the world, sort of thing. You know, it's almost like a, a stake up in Queensland, you just stick it in the soil and it'll grow, sort of thing. And they flower. Oh, December, January, February, basically. So they're getting into the uh, the early part of the you know, the, the summer or the uh, uh, the middle of the dry sort of thing, so um, yeah, anyway, uh, that's about it for all, I don't think the sun's going to stay out for too much longer, we had a whole dump of rain earlier, and I just thought I'd make this uh, um, thing, I said I think we've got direction now, and um, as I said, the answer is not what you think, uh, you actually want a mineral soil on the surface and organics down below, and that keeps the soil nice and damp and wet during this time of the year, and you won't need much in a, in the form of um and it's cheap of course <laughs> so you can see how you know your idea of peat and sand you know the sand is the mineral part and the uh, the peat is the organic part but you really want a little bit of your specialized mineral sand on the surface and you want your organics down below which is but you want it low iron so basically that's that's what the newspaper cellulose is doing for you it's it's a form of organics that are low in uh, iron, basically, and uh, you can go from there. Because, um, uh, yeah, I think the plants uh, either get their their iron from a different uh, in a different form, like iron chloride or something like that, or, or it's attached to copper um, or um, uh, nickel, which is a serpentine element, can actually uh, reduce it to a, a lower form of iron, so it's more available. So you, you don't need very much. If, if, so if, if the iron's available, you don't need very much. Yeah, so if you make it more available, you only need small amounts or thing. Uh, uh, or if you um, attach it to other elements or thing like copper and things like that, uh, you know. But then again, you've got to be able to make sure that the copper is not poisonous or thing. So you've got to go into that, and that's where you get this this salt angle. Because you go out to all these places and um, 
they definitely seem to have a sort of connection to them with the, the, the floor and the vegetation. You look at the soil and you think, oh, that, that's a, that, that little weed down there, that's a true halophyte. Yeah, that's an absolute, it's a miniature one, but it's definitely a true halophyte. So, you know, all, all this bullshit about they don't like soil, the, 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 the environment, the ecology, the soil, uh, all the, the adaptive factors of the soil are telling you a different soil. They say they're screaming, hello, I'm a halophyte. Uh, you know, <laughs> I may not be an obligate halophyte, but I'm definitely a halophyte. You know? <laughs> well, they, they do say that um, uh, all gly uh, glycophytes are inherently uh, slightly halophytic. That's what they say. So, you know, th there is truth. There are truths in the rumours. <laughs> Truths. Maybe that's why it's the truths in the rumours. But you just got to d dive and delve between the truths of the rumours, I think, or to find the truths of the rumours. So I might make that the title of this thing. The tr there are truths in the rumours. Or the <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm losing the sun now. As I said, it's uh, the sun's setting, and we had a lot of rain. And there's a lot of rain on the way. We are now uh, truly in the wet for this year, uh, 2022, and uh, it should be a good year, a fun year. As I said, basically. I've solved all the problems. Now, now I've just got to sit back and watch them grow, and uh, you know, uh, make it as simple as possible. And I think the simplest of po possible I'm going to try is just uh, organic. With um, see, charcoal has the unusual ability of pulling the pH in from both ends. So, in other words, it will make acid soils less acid, and it'll make alkaline soils less alkaline. So. Taking that into consideration, do you view charcoal as organic or inorganic? You see, and I, said, I think charcoal can be viewed in both in both ways, and maybe it can be both organic and inorganic ex at exactly the same time for different reasons, sort of thing. So, by putting um, uh, your org, uh, your organic newspaper sellers on the bottom and putting your charcoal on the top, maybe the charcoal on the top is acting like a mineral soil, even though you think it's organic. Normally it takes a long time to get going, uh, you know, four to six months, but being on the surface of a nice wet bucket of newspapers, maybe we can get it going in a few weeks. Anyway, that's what I'm going to set up, and it'll be on the next video, basically. So if you want to tune in for that, I'll set it up, put some of these sort of groups of plants in there, and we'll give it a go and see what happens. We may be pleasantly surprised. Okay, see ya.